We'll start the next recording going into the second game here of Seth versus Mo Man. Um, Scrap Station selected by Seth really quickly here. This is a best of three format in the quarterfinals right now for the Gosu Gamers Holiday Special. Um, Seth getting the northern spawn here is the uh, the challenger, I would say, as Mo Man did win the first game spawning in the eastern portion here of Scrap Station um, as the orange Zerg. So it's 1 0 Mo Man over Seth right now. Um, we'll see if he can hold on. This is ZBZ, obviously, as you guys can see from just the uh, back and forth there really quickly. Um, really strong roach play from Mo oh Man. One base roach, one gas roach, um, but just enough to break Seth as he uh, he pulled out of the Baneling Nest and just tried to tech as quickly as he could. Got the Spire finish, but couldn't get Mutalis Scout. So this is an answer game. We'll see if Seth can make it happen here, see which way they go. Um, as this is a pretty Zerg favored map, and both uh, a lot of Zergs do like this map because of the distances uh, makes Speedlings Mutalisk uh, super effective here. Um, really easy to kind of contain your natural, and yeah, just a really good uh, Zerg all round map. So. Not too bad as both players getting their drones out. Uh, again, this is the Gosu Gamers Holiday Special North American Qualifier. This is only a one-day qualifier. The finals will be taking place on Friday, today being Wednesday here. Um, finals will be taking place on Friday. And the European Qualifier will be taking place tomorrow evening. So you guys should definitely tune back in. Everybody that's watching the European Cup over the European matches will be taking place tomorrow. So same same Gosu channel, same Gosu channel. I was going to say bad time, bad channel, but whatever. Um, overlords reach the mains of both base. Mo Man and Seth both have their overlords out. Um, this is, of course, you guys were asking who this is. This is Iced uh, from Gosu Gamers, so I'm really happy to be casting the North American version for you guys. Tomorrow will be Vince, I believe, casting the, the European. I think Vince is doing the finals as well for you guys, so pretty good little lineup coming up in terms of casters but yeah happy to be here and we're winding into the uh the semifinals here so we have a couple more matches coming up um but we'll definitely see the uh, how the brackets pan out there every all the information on the tournament everything like that is available at gosugamers.net in the starcraft 2 section so make sure you guys uh check that out as uh Moman does finish now. His queen has started. Zergling speed started for Moman. No speed for Seth just yet. He has 100 gas. Do to see if he goes into. He's going to start a Roach Warren this time, not wanting to lose to Roaches. Um, he's going to try it himself. No speed or anything. So it looks like he's going to save that gas for Roaches. Seth's going to try his own one base Roach here. As his Zerglings do cr or do start heading for the center of the map, which is kind of the Zelnaga watchtower there. Uh, Moman doing the same thing. Zerglings running for the center of the map. Moman is going to reach that power second. So the Zerglings for Seth will see that uh, there's nothing on there just yet. They'll kind of cross paths. No attack move there. Nobody uses attack move anymore. <laughs> Mo Man setting up his Baneling Nest. So we will see kind of a, a counter response here. Banelings versus uh, Roaches as uh, Mo Man is going to get that Baneling Nest scouted. It does get spotted by Seth there. And he does pull those Zerglings out. Um, so speed is going to be an advantage here. Seven roaches coming out for Seth, so he basically used that entire spray to get those roaches out. One base roach play, very solid from Seth. He is supply blocked right now, but I'm sure he'll be, as you can see in Overlord in production, we'll be countering that pretty shortly. Baneling Nest was finished, but a roach worn for Moman was thrown down and some more drones coming out. So maybe he wants to fake him off. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to continue with the Zerglings ban, uh, Zergling Baneling with the roach. Roach Warren down. Um, checking the worker count. Mo Man does have a little bit of a lead. Basically one volley difference there as the uh, Roaches for Seth are being set up really well on the ramp. Uh, not going to let anything break into that. Uh, Banelings are not going to be able to bust that too, too easily. You need about six Banelings, I think, to break through a Roach. So going to be really interesting to see if... Uh, which way he goes with it, if he does throw in banelings or not. Uh, another, uh, his own baneling nest being thrown down for Seth. Seems there are a lot of zerglings on the map there. With a little bit of a roach advantage, he can use banelings to actually knock out the other baneling numbers or possibly even the zergling numbers from Moman. But Moman answering back similarly with his own roaches. Um, so both players kind of playing into each other's game. One did roaches first, yeah, did banelings first. That's the only difference here. 
um, scout out from Seth right now, wanting to make sure that there's no funny business going on at his natural. Uh, looks like Zerglings from Moman just kind of holding center ground. Roach push from Seth coming out right now. Very deadly roach push as uh, looks like Banelings are just being started somewhere here for, for Seth. He's going to start his own Banelings. Where are they? Oh, they're at back at his base. Um, so he'll have his own Baneling defense there, I'm guessing, as he does. Moman does see those roaches coming from Seth's base right now, crossing center field. Moman's going to try to get his own roaches up as quickly as possible, um, using his Zerglings to kind of take in a few pot shots at the slower Zerglings of Seth. Um, more Banelings coming up from the middle, so there's going to be a Baneling roach bomb coming in from Seth right now. So we'll see if uh, Moman's ready for this, but Moman's got his own Baneling started. Um, pretty much just a mere battle right here, right now. Um, few roaches being microed away from Seth. He does see the Banelings now. Banelings being dropped from Moman. Uh, Moman able to do pretty good roach damage, actually, to Seth. Not using any Banelings. Losing all of his Zerglings, but pretty good roach trade-off, as you can see here. Check out the units here. Uh, 14 for 9. There you go. So... Pretty even, a few more Banelings on the uh, Seth side, but more Roaches definitely on the Moman side. He's got he's pushing ahead too as more Roaches are coming out right now. Uh, food count in favor of Moman by about 10. Um, checking income really quick. It's almost dead even. One drone lead for Seth right now. An Evo Chamber coming up. Um, Layer Tech coming up for Seth. Layer Tech already finished for Moman. He is going to have Roach speed started way ahead here as... Uh, He's kind of cutting out the middle ground here, as you can see on the minimap. Uh, so we'll see what Moman's going to start digging away at this. Uh, wants to close the gap here. If he is going to just kind of push him really, really hard, it'll definitely be effective. Seth, I don't think would have seen that with that overload. No, the overload's a little far away for that. Um, Banelings watching Moman's back here. It's a really good idea. Good spread from Seth there on the high ground. Both players still on one base. Um, going to be really tough to see which way they go. Overseer from Moman, going to get a good look at everything there. See the Roach numbers and see the, the layer tech just finishing now. Moman not really, just producing more Roaches, looking to win with just pure Roaches as uh, Overlord's being kind of chased away by the Queen right now of Moman. Still no expansions or anything yet. Both players still just spending a lot of money on producing units. Um, Evo Chamber from Moman behind by quite a bit. Seth has his Evo Chamber. Roach weapons almost complete. Roach upgrade attack. They don't really have weapons, I guess. <laughs> Acid Saliva is their weapon. Roaches for Seth being rallied forwards. Nothing... Nothing really else. It's gonna be. It's gonna come down to weapons versus speed right here. Roach speed for Seth started as well. Finally, a hatchery thrown down. It does get scouted by Mo Man. Uh, Mo Man will answer suit as well, throwing down his own hatchery. So both players are gonna expand here. The automatron blocking the hatchery right now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. I don't know if he wants to clear out. Oh, he's producing more. He didn't throw down the hatchery. He got ready to, but started throwing down weapons. There's the hatchery. Uh, so Mo Man answering suit quite a bit behind, but not uh, not anything too too significant. Ooh, a little bit of a changeling zernling from Mo Man coming out right now. Gonna use that to scout out the base. Is it going anywhere? No, it's just gonna drop. He dropped it and started looking at something else. Mo Man doing a good job, just keeping his roach numbers ahead. We check the unit count. It's uh, 25 roaches for Chef, 27 for Mo Man. So actually not as far ahead as I thought here. Uh, a little bit of a push here from Seth, actually. Really interesting. He's going to lose a few roaches for that. Um, not sure if he just wanted to check something or or what, but uh, definitely lost a few roaches here. And uh, Mo Man's going to pull back. Nope, he's going to actually push forwards. Then he sees it's just a very small force. No back door. I guess he was just checking if the back door was open or not. Um, more roaches going down for Seth. Looks like Seth's going to have the production to be able to push it back up. No problem. Banelings for Seth coming into the middle as well. Going to rejoin that party of roaches as Moban's roaches are pulling back here. So no engagement just yet. Workers being transferred for Moman. No worker transfer for Seth just yet. There it is. Yeah. 
So both players saturating their naturals and taking a more macro approach to this game. Checking the income tab, it's a slight lead for Moman. Four worker lead, basically, for Moman. Um, ooh, infestation pit for Seth. Started quite a bit earlier. Um, and a second Evo chamber for Moman. So Moman's pretty confident about sticking to roaches. Uh, right now, I would think, with throwing down the second Evo, uh, more techie or possibly even Infestors uh, coming out for for Seth. So we'll see which way that goes. But, yeah, it's going to be definitely going into a more macro game as neither player really pushing forwards. Both players have their army parked almost exact same positions um, outside their naturals there, not wanting to risk anything too, too crazy as uh, lots of Overlord spew being set up by Mole Man. So he's doing a pretty good spread. Nothing really for Seth. Doesn't really matter. Um, you guys, you can use um, your opponent's creep, of course. Any creep is good creep. So uh, both players will be creeping up the map. The only difference is you can only see off of your creep tumors or your overlords, of course. So that's where the advantage of creep comes in is uh, being able to see better. But in terms of the speed advantage, it works for both certain players. So no problem. Ooh, contaminate on the hatchery a moment there. Not going to be able to produce any larvae spews until that wears off there. That goes. So really good timing on that as the spew was just started by Moman there. So he's going to lose a couple seconds on that queen. Uh, Overseer still poking around. Did he drop a... Moman, I don't see it. I was looking for a... What's it called? A changeling uh, from Seth. But no. Moman's Overseer parked in the north here. Uh, doesn't have enough for Contaminate just yet. So it's going to just stick around. Both players transferring workers, checking out income again. Uh, still Moman in a bit of a lead. He's got about a 6-7 worker lead there. So doing a good job of keeping up um, with Seth. He's got the advantage right now, the 1-0 advantage. Ooh, big push coming out from Seth. He's just going to try to take the middle. Um, checking the unit tab. There's... 42, 44 to 42 for Seth right now, and there are Infestors out, so yeah, he did go into the Infestor Roach. Um, does cross the middle, does get spotted here by Moman. Moman's going to try to create a little bit of a concave. He does just that, does a great job of getting that concave up. Uh, these Infestors are going to be very difficult to deal with. Uh, Hydralis coming out for Moman, so that will help buffer these um, these Roach numbers by quite a bit. Five on the field already, six more in production. Um, so we'll see if the Infestors can make the difference here. There is a ball of uh, fungal growth. Two Infestors go down. Um, Going to force, obviously, a little bit of a better engagement for Seth there. He does get the, uh, the roaches up first. Hydralisk in the back, though, um, starting to help out. I am slowing everything down again, of course, as soon as the spew gets started. Um, but there it goes. It looks like Moman's Hydralisk doing a little bit... A little bit more there, yeah, just slightly more effective than the Infestors were. Seth not able to find the angle, um, and I think Moman's going to be able to chase him back here. Looking at the production, it's just Roaches right now for Seth. Uh, Moman's got Roaches as well, but adding Hydralisk as well. The Infestors not as effective as uh, Seth needed them to be. Um, the Hydral's doing a great job of just cutting out the uh, the extra base there. And if you look at the unit count, uh, there's tw 20 Hydralisk and 20 Roaches versus just 24 Roaches. Um, 26 now, but not going to be enough for uh, for Seth to hang in there. He needs to really get his his macro up. Uh, like he does have two hatcheries and producing seven Roaches, but trying to create a bit of a surround here. Roaches being rallied with drones on the high ground. Here he goes. Um, picking off some of the hydros in the back, great surround here from Seth, actually taking great advantage of that. Um, but the Roach is for Moman cutting in there, Hydro is cutting in there, um, and that's going to be good game. So Moman takes this and advances into the quarterfinals there, um, knowing that he'll do well in the rest. Moman advances, great game from Seth, and uh, it was great following him in the tournament. And uh, we'll check out the next games in just a sec, guys.